What's up today everybody? Welcome to the Daily Random Vlog. Random Andrew here. But no worries, I'm not gonna fret because there's still lots of snow outside. I just, well, I'm halfway through fixing Clifford and uh, I'm just gonna go outside and have my own fun. That's it. You know, you can try and make plans and two separate sets of plans have failed already. And that's at the point where you're just like, I'm not gonna try to make a third set of plans with people and just have that fall out too, or fall through or fall back, fall forward. I'm just gonna go out and do my own thing. Gotta enjoy the day somehow. And if I sit around waiting too long, I'm not gonna enjoy it. Here is the culprit. On the right is the repaired MIP axle stub. And on this side is the other stub. It's kind of exploded. I'm surprised the pieces all stayed together somewhat until I went to take it apart and it just fell apart. There might actually be one little piece missing off of uh, the ring. But, have a look ski there. That's, that's, that's done. Yeah. But that's one of the improperly heat treated axle stubs. No worries, I replaced it with the ones they sent. The ones they said could handle anything I throw at them. And we shall do just that outside today. So I'm gonna finish putting that axle back together. Clifford has, by the looks of it, very little time left on the second battery, uh, my other 2S, and we're just gonna go. We're just going.
That noise you guys just heard, that is a pinion spinning freely. In other words, actually not spinning at all, it's just the output shaft spinning freely. Let me show you. So I can tell just by looking that pinion's not where it should be, which means it's come loose. So simple fix, tighten it up, and voila. I've had to call in the diaphone for extra lighting, so that's why you're getting the shadow of the lens there. And then, look at that, oh no, rust spots on that nice motor. So I'm going to have to take it off there, WD the hell out of it, get where I can, and then maybe uh, once the WD set in, or whatever, take an oil rag, a nice oily rag with some regular motor oil or whatever, and just give it a good coating to the casing so it doesn't end up being a bright orange casing. That's the thing, running in the salt and stuff, you really got to maintain these trucks or you're going to have rusty screws and bolts all over the place. And if you notice, that's about the only thing that is getting any kind of rust forming on it. And, well, I haven't really done anything with it yet, but I will. And there you have it. To quote Hef, it is what it is and it can be taken care of. I don't know. Sounded good to me. But yeah, all day today, no matter how hard I tried, nothing I did was working out, even what you guys just watched. I consider myself lucky at this point that I was even able to put together a little bit of Clifford having fun out in the snow, followed by that tiny bit of FPV stuff. Can you imagine actually running it FPV from that perspective? A truck like Clifford would be a good one to use for that. Hint, anybody thinking about trying it? Because it does not roll over too easily which means you can stay seated with your goggles on, keep on driving. But in the snow, anything too deep, any snow too deep, anything's going to get stuck. Clifford just handles it a little bit better than the deadbolt does. So yeah, fortunate that it still had something to put together for you guys today, even though I felt that everything I was trying to do wasn't working out. But that's the thing, don't give up. You never know what the result could be. This vlog for you guys, <laughs> always ends up being some kind of result at the end of the day, whether up here I think it was working out or not, it, it actually, it works out. So thank you for watching what worked out. I do appreciate your guys' time. Like I've said before, during the holidays even especially, time is a rare commodity. So thank you for sharing this little bit of time with me as I share my daily life with you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying your holidays. If you're not a subscriber yet, hit that subscribe button. I'll consider it an amazing Christmas present. Click like if you enjoyed today's little video. I pre Again, I appreciate the heck out of your guys' time. Time is valuable. Think positive. Stay positive. Keep a smile on your face, and we'll see you here tomorrow. Good night. Vlog over.